Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial, today's tutorial on Informatica MDM 10.4. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn another interesting feature which is introduced in 10.4 version. As in that, you have a business use case where business users would like to update multiple records in a single update request. How can they achieve? With the current IDD application or entity or customer 360 application, there is no such feature where user can do the bulk updates. Hence, Informatica in 10.4 come with this very interesting feature. In today's lecture, we are going to see how this feature can be configured and how can we use that in customer 360 or entity 360 application. Before going to jump into the actual demo, let's see what data we have prepared for this demo. So there are three records as we can see in the screen, so which has a row ID object which ends with 31, 32 and 33. Let's go ahead and uh, try to update a full name of all these three records instead of John Smith will mention maybe like John Smith 1 etc or we can update with any value. In real time, you might get a situation where user would like to update the gender code. And the reason is when the data entry made, they, they might do some type of error, like gender code might be get messed up. So they want to have a consistent gender code because based on that, so much analysis, analysis happen. So that's kind of real time example of the bulk upload. But in our today's demo, we are going to update full name by configuring in the MDM hub and using that configuration in the customer or entity 360 application. The configuration is very simple and it's a straightforward. In order to configure this feature, this feature is called as a find and replace. So what we do is we find the record which we are going to update and by the replace functionality, we replace the value with a new value. In order to achieve this functionality, we have to make some configuration in the MDM hub. For that, we have to go to the MDM hub, security access manager and the role section. Select the business user roles, those who are going to update the record. Let's assume that the role name is data steward. And under the data store, we'll see the different components and one of the components is business entity services. Under the business entity services, we have the function called find and replace. Make sure you have provided read, create, update and execute permission to this role in order to user get the privilege to update and replace. So once you are done with this configuration, make sure your ORS is in valid state and everything looks good, then we can jump to the actual application. This is the customer 360 application. I already logged in. Here in the screen, we need to go to the query section and select the query by using which you can pull the record. So I just created a query using account name and I pass some value which I just got from our database. Once you have that value, just run this query and result will be displayed. But results are not more important for this use case. The important is the functionality. Where can we find that? Where can we locate it? The functionality is available, the find and replace on the right hand side. If you hover over your mouse on this icon, it will show find and replace. Click on that. The record will open in the find and replace view. In this view, we see the what are the columns which we have selected. Of course, you can change that column selection in your prior screen. And if the results are more than 20 or the what are the page size defined, you'll see the page numbers here. So you can scroll down and see the records. Now what record we are going to replace? Assume that it's the account name and the, we want to replace the John Smith name with some other values. In order to do that, we have to first find all such values. So we need to select what column we are going to use. We are going to use column 
let's see uh, the account name if there is any other co column such as the address column or any phone number you have to scroll down and select the child and you can use that column also yes this functionality not only available for the party level attribute but also it's a child level attribute as well i'll select this and then we have to provide what value we are going to search we have to search john smith and click the find button if the value is there for this account name then it get highlighted with this kind of color here in this color is kind of yellow and at the same time the replace all button also got enabled so that means if the values are present then replace all button get enabled let's replace the value these values with some john smith one and once you provide that value click the replace all it will give us a warning message you cannot revert this change are you sure and want to replace this value if you are sure then click replace all this will not trigger any task unless if you are configured and what it says there are three records updated click the run button to view this result updated result instead of looking into this screen let's go ahead and check in the database side whether it's a correctly happen or not what i'll do i'll go to the sql developer instead of this running query because the full name is already replaced will not get any results so i will do one thing instead of full name i will use the raw id objects as i know these values i'll just copy and paste it here now first thing i'll verify whether this record still present or not by running this first query and it do not give me any result that means this record is no more present how about these raw id objects if i run this query then i can see the full name got replaced with john smith 1 so this concludes that we can update or we can do the bulk update operation using mdm 10.4 version you can do this operation not only on the text field but you can do that on the date field or even check box field as well uh, i hope this tutorial is helpful and give you some idea about how can you use this functionality in your 10.4 application thank you for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any questions or queries you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video thank you again have a nice time